welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful and blessed Sunday. I just wanted to come to you guys and talk to you about what to expect um, when you're about to come on your cycle. Um, I'm mostly talking about younger girls, um, like what to expect, things that you should do, the supplies that you should have, and just overall making you feel just comfortable um, at this point when you become coming into young womanhood and um, experiencing uh, for the very first time and you know some times after that a few times after that um, just being comfortable while you're on your cycle so I brought a few things just to show you guys um, just to you know let you guys have a idea of some of the things that you will need while you're on your cycle and some of the things that you want while you're on your cycle. Um, when you first come on your cycle, I know it's going to be kind of like scary. You're thinking, oh my God, you know, I'm, you know, you know, having this thing happen to me, but it's okay. Um, relax, take some deep breaths. This is all natural and it's all becoming a young lady, um, all about becoming a young lady. And so um, these are some of the items that I brought that you guys um, should have on hand at all times um, to make sure that you have all your supplies um, on your monthly cycle. Um, you don't know that you're going to have your cycle every month on the same day um, after you start. It's, you know, kind of varies because you might be doing sports. Um, you know, you might be you know, stressing a little bit because you have like exams or a test or, you know, things like that that may um, throw off your hormones just a little bit. So um, it's always good to be prepared. And I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that you could use. I'm into like organic things. So um, I just brought, um, I have some, some liners and these are good, especially like um, when you're expecting to come on, um, like, let's just say, you know, the 15th is the day that you usually come on, um, like around the 14th or 15th, it's good to just kind of wear a liner, um, especially when you're going to school and different things like that. So you won't have any like accident, accidents or incidental, you know, issues while you're at work at school or, you know, you're, you know, if you have a job or whatever like that, it's always good to be prepared. So um, the liners are always good, especially around that time, because if you start, you know, your flow, you know, you won't, you know, soil your clothes or anything like that. Okay. And then I have the Honest Pads and these are <clears throat> made with cotton and they're organic. And this one actually comes with <clears throat> 10 regular pads. Okay. So just to let you guys know, I have used pads my whole entire life, my whole entire life. And um, some people have a high, uh, <clears throat> some people have a, a um, more of a flow, or should I say heavier flow. Some have a heavier flow than others. Um, sometimes your flow can be from two to seven days. It depends on, you know, yourself because everybody's different. Um, and also, like, sometimes you could come on for the first time when you're 9, 10, 11, 12. It doesn't, you know, we just never know because everybody's different. <clears throat> Excuse me. Every, everybody's body's different. So, okay, before I get into all that other stuff about your body and all that, I just wanted to let you guys also know about the reusable pads. Um, these are some pads that um, I sell. And I just wanted to let you guys know that these are very, very comfortable. Sometimes when you are on your cycle, it can be a little bit uncomfortable, like when you have pads and things like that. Um, and they just kind of like shift a little bit and just feel just a little bit uncomfortable. But these, they're they're more like, a, like your panties or, you know, like your clothing. So um, when you have these on, it kind of feels like, you know, you don't really have like a pad on, you know what I mean? So I really, 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 really recommend these, um, especially like when you're just getting started and, you know, it's kind of uncomfortable, you know, different things like that. But yeah, this fabric feels wonderful against the skin. And like I said before, it just makes you feel a little bit, you know, more comfortable um, when you have your cycle. And so they come in different, different designs. I have um, some different ones here. Um, yeah, they're all different. So, um, 
Skin, this one has a different, no, this is pretty much the same as that one. But yeah, so they come in different designs and all that. And so like when you um are at school, um, it's good to also like carry this if you're at work or at school anywhere. And, uh, but like I said, I'm primarily talking about, you know, when you first get your first cycle. So, okay, when you soil it, you just, um, there's a button here because it latches onto your underwear, you know, like this. You just latch it onto your underwear and then you, you snap it. It snaps like that. And it pretty much stays in place. And I have this in like this medium size and then I also have like a larger size, but I, you know, didn't bring that um, to this one because I was mostly... Um, going to be speaking to younger girls, which are, you know, smaller. So, um, yeah, so that um, is how that works. It snaps. So when it's soiled, you come and take it this way and you snap it that way and you just kind of roll it up, you know, real small and you just put it in this, this little baggie and it's, it can't, it won't leak out. Okay. And you just put it in your bag and no one ever knows because it looks like a pencil case. So you just put that back in your, you know, in your backpack or whatever. And, you know, till you get home and then, you know, wash it or whatever like that. But yeah, so I just want to let you guys know about these. These are so comfortable and I seriously recommend these um, as well. And um, they're, they're durable so you can wash them. Um, you can, you know, hand wash them and let them out to dry. Or you can wash them in the washing machine, put them like in a, um, in a, um, like a little laundry bag. Um, and then, you know, just put them in the dryer, take them from the washer, keep them in the bag, throw them in the dryer. And uh, you can just wash them alone, like on a gentle cycle or something like that. So, yeah, so that's how that goes. And I really, really, really recommend these. And also, guys, a lot of people don't think about this, but, um, like when you go to the restroom and you change your pad and things like that, it's always good, always good to make sure you have like a little thing of soap or something like that in your purse and make sure you wash your hands very, very thoroughly when you have your cycle because, you know, you don't want to go out and, you know, have like a smell or odor or anything on you. So they have like little small um you know, things of soap that you can just like put in your, you know, bag, your backpack or something like that. And you can even, you know, just pour a little bit of this one like in a refill or something like that and um and just make sure you just wash your hands lather up really really good and you know just wash you know up your arms and your hands and things like that because um it's always good to make sure you're fresh and um wash your hands like really really good um especially when you're having your cycle and they also have like different wipes and things like that to, that you can use as well in the restroom um, to make sure that you're, you know, clean, especially when you're going to be at school or you're doing sports or things like that. So, so yeah, I just wanted to bring these um, to you so you could see, <clears throat> so you could actually see um, the kind of options that you have when you're on your cycle. And also um, when you're on your cycle, it is kind of like, um, when you first start like, oh my God, this is embarrassing, but, um, it's natural. It's a part of life. Um, I want you to feel comfortable and, you know, like if you're feeling any type of, you know, uncomfortableness in your body or pain, um, make sure you, you know, speak with your parents, um, you know, so that they can take you to the doctor or, you know, maybe just use like a heating pad or something like that. Cause that helps, you know, like with, um, being a little bit uncomfortable or things like that. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I touched on everything. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free below. Um, I know some people, um, you know, that maybe start their cycle or things like that. Maybe they don't, you know, feel comfortable talking to like your parent or anything like that. But I think that's the, you know, best place to go to talk, you know, to your parent. Um, but like, if you have any questions, you know, um, and you want me to answer about the video or um, you have a question about the boxes because I do sell the period boxes and like I put like a bunch of goodies in here like chocolate and um, I have like comfortable socks in here that you can wear and um, I have lip gloss which is always um, a good thing you know when you're on your cycle and I have like some mints and you know different things like that and also like body spray I have that in the um in the box as well and also some little hair ties so all that comes in the box and 
if you're interested in one of those boxes, um, just, you know, comment below or reach me on my email, um, dwingsfashions at yahoo.com or my period box, LLC at yahoo.com. And I can um, get that box to you ASAP. Okay, guys, um, I hope um, that this video was helpful just to let you guys feel a little bit more comfortable while you're on your cycle. And like I said before, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Until next time, guys, love you guys so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you.